friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be taking on another strange period product, and this time, it's a swimsuit. So I've been hearing about this period swimsuit for a little while, and some of you guys have tweeted at me and commented requesting that I try it out, so I decided to get it and see what it is. From what I can tell, it seems to be a swimsuit with a reinforced crotch, like a built-in pad, basically. It's described as leak-proof swimwear, so it's not watertight, but it's supposed to keep it all in. It's actually from the same company that makes the period leggings that I tried a couple of months ago, which I had mixed feelings about, because the crotch was just a little bulkier than I'd hoped it would be, and the company was a little wishy-washy on whether you were supposed to wear the leggings by themselves or with another period product, which kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. But nevertheless, we have the swimsuit now and we're gonna try it out. So they had a few different styles, but I settled on the black one piece. After my experience with the leggings, I'm really hoping that it isn't quite as turkey neckish in the crotch area. Just because with the leggings, at least you can kind of wear a tunic top to disguise the crotch. But with a swimsuit, when you're on the beach, it's just kind of like wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So this is what the instructions refer to as the gusset. It's like the crotchal region of the inside of the bathing suit, and it's actually a fleecy material. It looks pretty much the same as the one on the period leggings, so we'll see. Now I'm a tampon user, so usually when I have to wear a bathing suit on my period, I'll just pop one of those bad boys up there. But maybe this could safeguard against any leaking possibilities on that front. In general though, I think this swimsuit is mostly geared towards those who wear pads or other external period products, where the options currently are like wear nothing or wear a pad into the water and hope it doesn't blow up like a balloon. So if this thing works, it could be a good alternative. I'm gonna try and replicate that experience. So I'm just gonna wear this swimsuit by itself with no other period products. Now I'm actually gonna be traveling this week. So I'm gonna take this swimsuit with me and we're gonna try it out in some undetermined body of water somewhere in the United States. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it is day four of my period out of seven. I am traveling, I'm in Sandusky, Ohio because I'm a guest star on the Girls' Night In tour and I'm gonna be wearing my period swimsuit today. We are going to Cedar Point, which is I believe an amusement park, but there's also, you know, sort of a waterfront opportunity, like a beachfront on Lake Erie. Weirdly, this worked out because I feel like a great lake is the perfect place to wear your period swimsuit because I was kind of terrified to wear it to the beach in LA because like that is an ocean and there are sharks there. And I also feel kind of weird about wearing it into a pool. Like I know there's chlorine in a pool. It still feels more of like a contained environment versus a great lake has no sharks and also is very large. Okay, let's go try it on. So when I put it on at the hotel, the first thing I noticed was how soft it was. It's not necessarily like super cute, but it's like a pretty harmless, like one piece black bathing suit. Don't really have any complaints about how it looks or feels on the body. I actually thought that the crotch was less noticeable than the crotch with the period leggings. There is still like a separate gusset panel, which like I'm not super jazzed about. Like I wish it was just more built in overall, but it doesn't look as bad. So I think that's a pretty important factor. We're heading out to Cedar Point in a little bit and uh, we'll see how this thing does in the wild. So after leaving the hotel, I was basically wearing it as underwear. And I will say that in motion, the gusset is pretty comfortable and it doesn't like chafe when I walk. So that's always good. All right, so we are at Cedar Point. So far, I feel actually decently dry. Definitely like a drop or two, but you know, in general feeling pretty good. So let's see what happens when we get to the beach. It took me a little while to find the lake. I have been walking for a little bit. I don't exactly know where I'm going, but there's a lake somewhere around here, I know. I can smell it. Okay, you guys, I think I finally figured it out. I think I'm actually walking up to the beach right now. Got some nice water to walk into. Looks like we've got some innocent beachgoers who don't know what I'm doing. All right, so at the beach, I took my dress off that was over the bathing suit and the bathing suit like looks pretty normal when it's dry. Did that without putting my camera down. Okay, so I'm just in my swimsuit. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I know that I have bled into this swimsuit already. I hope I don't see any blood like floating to the top when I walk into the water and I also hope that my pad doesn't just inflate like a diaper. 
Um, but let's just walk in. At first, I wanted to get in the water slightly away from other people just because I wanted to kind of like do my own thing. But I kind of got freaked out by a leaf that brushed against my leg. I am actually such a scaredy cat. I was like walking like really comfortably in knee deep water and then I felt a leaf on my foot and I was like, ah! Okay, now I'm nervous to get deep into the water where there's no one nearby, so maybe I should get closer to other people. So I was finally ready to submerge my gusset in the water. So I'm just gonna sit down and we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> okay, butt submerged, all right. Okay, all the pad is completely submerged. All right, I'm now submerged up until my waist, basically. So the pad is completely under the water. It's a little bit colder down here. So I did not see any clouding or leaking actively happening as I sat in the water. I will say the lake water is not very clear, but I didn't see any blood flow to the top. I also did not notice the gusset inflate like a raft. It did get wet, obviously, but it didn't really get any bigger. That said, it did get heavier. It does not expand exponentially like a diaper would, but it definitely looks like way down and soggy when I stand up. It's almost just like a wet piece of fleece. After about 30 minutes in the water, I wasn't jazzed about how it looked, but I had to get out sometime. I will say though that I don't think anyone on the beach has really given me a second glance besides the fact that I'm filming myself. So I don't think anyone's really noticing the droopy crotch as much as of course I am noticing it on myself. I found a public shower and rinsed off before putting my dress back on. Yes, a public shower, yes. Yes, washing my butt. I think actually a little bit of sand got stuck in the gusset because I kind of, I wasn't really swimming, I was more sitting. Ooh. I wonder if anyone saw me kind of like reach in there and try and get it out. So after that, I just wanted to see how long the swimsuit would take to dry. Something I didn't actually think about until just now is that I am now perioding into a wet gusset. I hope it can still absorb while it's wet. I'm wearing a black dress. Also, I bought this clam hat in honor of my period. <laughs> It's a clam! So the body of the swimsuit dried pretty quickly, but I waited a long time for the crotch to dry. All right, I would say it's about 40 minutes post beach and I feel like everything is dry pretty much except for the gusset, which still feels soggy. It's hard to say exactly if there have been any like true blue leaks yet, because it's like everything is wet. I don't think the swimsuit was leaking blood, but it was leaking water. Like I sat down on a bench and then when I stood up, like my whole butt was just like covered in water spots. Your butt is so wet. Does it look like there's blood on there or just water? It, it looks like it's just wet. Definitely looks like I peed my pants, which is awesome. So I was pretty much out of commission for doing anything else at the theme park. It kind of put a damper on my spirits. Okay, so it's been about three hours since I got in the water. The sun is going down. We're gonna head back to the hotel soon. And I would say that I still have not reached like dry zero. Like I'm still a little bit damp. I don't know that it's ever gonna get there when it's on my body. By the time we left, the crotch still wasn't completely dry. All right, you guys, I am back in the hotel. After I took it off, it took probably like an hour to like fully, fully dry. But the funny thing is now that it's dry, I gotta wash it again and then wait for it to dry again and then put it in my suitcase. Overall, I would say my experience in the period swimsuit was not terrible, but there were some issues. There's no question to me that this is probably better than wearing a pad straight into the water. I've never done that, but this does eliminate the inflation factor as well as the visibility factor of like seeing the wings of a pad on a swimsuit. I will say that this swimsuit was pretty fine when it was dry. Like I don't think that the crotch was that bulky. And I'll also say that the absorbency when dry was pretty impressive. Like I didn't even feel any dampness before I got in the water. So as for the test of like putting my butt in the water, I would say that the swimsuit felt totally fine when I was just sort of like stationary and there wasn't any like visible leaking or expansion which was great that said once you get out of the water it's not quite as seamless it's a little bulky it's not horrible it's not horrible but it's not ideal it's definitely noticeable and also it seems to take forever to dry once it's wet see the problem is that that is wet fleece oh yeah that's the issue and it's bulky huh it's bulky, but it's more that it's just like not swimsuit material. Right. I think that if you are someone who really doesn't like tampons or can't use tampons, this could be a good solution just to like go to the beach or something. But in terms of actually getting in the water, I 
think it's a little soggy looking. When it's dry, it doesn't look too bad. So if you're not swimming, it could be a great solution. But if you are swimming, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. And if you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also shamash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Ariana for watching. Thanks for watching Ariana and I will see you guys a next time.